from a revered political leader to a remarkable find inside a hollow tree trunk, here are eight unknown preservation methods. Before we begin, be sure to subscribe to They Will Kill You. Hit the like button and request any topics you'd like to learn about in the comments section below. Number 8. Vladimir Lenin Vladimir Lenin is one of Russia's most significant historical figures. He led the faction that took power following the 1917 revolution, ushering in the era of the Soviet Union. As of the making of this video, Lenin's perfectly preserved remains can still be seen by the public at a mausoleum in Moscow's Red Square. They're kept in an airtight glass container and monitored for temperature, humidity, and degradation. After the Soviet leader's death in 1924, thousands came to say goodbye at a mausoleum that was only meant to be temporary. People kept flocking to the mausoleum for weeks and before long, measures were taken to preserve Lenin's body. The exact process was deemed a state secret. However, it's believed to have involved removing all the organs, injecting embalming fluid into the veins, as well as soaking the body in embalming fluid. Number 7. Nodosaurus In recent years, the Royal Tyrell Museum of Paleontology in Alberta, Canada, unveiled arguably the best preserved dinosaur specimen ever seen. The degree of preservation led some to call it a dinosaur mummy rather than a mere fossil. The Nodosaurus was a giant four-legged herbivore protected by a plated armor. When it roamed the earth about 110 million years ago, it weighed over 3,000 pounds. The remains amounted to roughly 2,500 pounds and consisted, as one paleontologist put it, of a dinosaur as it would have been. The skin, bones, armor, and even its guts were intact. How this happened is largely a mystery. The theory is that it was swept by a river and carried out to sea. Then, over millions of years, the minerals formed a shield around its body. Before we move on, answer this question. Which animals were most often mummified in ancient Egypt? A. Cats B. Bulls C. Crocodiles D. Horses Let us know what you think in the comments section below and stay tuned to find out the right answer. Number 6. Xin Jui Xin Jui was the wife of a Chinese aristocrat during the 2nd century BC at the time of the Western Han Dynasty. When her tomb was discovered in 1968, it became one of the century's most important finds. Xin Jui's tomb was immense and featured over a thousand items, ranging from valuable objects to documents. She was buried about 50 feet deep, in four coffins of decreasing sizes that encased one another. Each of the coffins had artwork mainly with religious themes of the afterlife, rebirth, and immortality. Perhaps the most remarkable aspect is how well Xin Jui's body had been preserved, despite being over 2,100 years old. She had been placed in an unknown embalming fluid inside the coffin, which kept her organs and blood vessels intact. Researchers even managed to recover small amounts of type A blood. Not only was the woman's skin still soft and moist, but the muscles allowed flexing at the joints. Her eyelashes were still in place, as was the hair on her head. The discovery provided the scientific community with radical insight into preservation methods as well as into the lifestyles of people from the period of the Han Dynasty. In 2003, Chinese researchers injected an unknown compound into Xin Jui's veins to further her preservation. Number 5. Vermilion Burial Vermilion, aside from the color itself, also refers to a powdered version of cinnabar. This is a toxic mineral and the most common form of mercury ore from which elemental mercury is refined. While our knowledge of chemical reactions has greatly improved throughout time, the properties of vermilion weren't known 5,000 years ago. Yet, it seems that the powder was used as a preservation method at prehistoric burial sites in Palencia, Spain. Archaeologists discovered bones that were blanketed 
in crushed cinnabar and concluded that this had been intentionally done over five millennia prior. Evidence that the use of vermilion was purposeful includes the absence of cinnabar mines close to the site and the fact that hundreds of pounds of powder had been used. Official They Will Kill You merchandise is now available at theywillkillyou.com. Some of it is to die for. Number four, Sleeping Beauty. Rosalia Lombardo was an Italian child who died of pneumonia in 1920, when just a year old. Her father, an official, was so grief-stricken that he commissioned a renowned embalmer to preserve her body. Alfredo Salafia used an embalming formula that kept the child's remains remarkably intact. Some details about the preservation method have been lost. However, the formula has been described as a mixture of glycerin, formaldehyde, and an alcohol solution containing salicylic acid. It was most likely injected into the corpse through the femoral artery. The results were astounding as X-ray analysis of the body reveals that the organs are also intact. Lombardo's mummy, sometimes referred to as Sleeping Beauty, is one of the best preserved bodies in the Capuchin catacombs of Palermo. Sleeping Beauty gained further notoriety due to the rumor that her eyes open and close several times a day, revealing her intact blue irises. This, however, is just an optical illusion created by the fact that her eyes have never been fully closed. So, as light filters in through the side windows, it reflects off them, creating the illusion of moving eyelids. Number three, malification. Honey has long been credited as an effective way of preserving human bodies. This would seem justified, since honey has certain properties that make it suitable for long-term storage. It's highly acidic and has low water activity while also boasting antibacterial and antiseptic effects. The process is known as mellification and traces its roots back to ancient times. Burmese priests would bury their abbots in coffins full of honey. Herodotus in the 4th century BC claimed that Assyrians would embalm their dead with honey. Alexander the Great's body was allegedly preserved in a honey-filled sarcophagus and there's evidence the Egyptians were aware of the practice. Later on, malification was also present in medieval Chinese medical literature. Li Shai Zhen reported that elderly men in Arabia would submit themselves to a process of honey mummification in order to create a healing concoction. There was also an element of self-sacrifice to the practice as it started while they were still alive. The men would only eat honey and even bathe in it. When this would result in death, their bodies would be placed in stone coffins filled with honey. After about a hundred years, the contents supposedly turned into a confection capable of healing all sorts of ailments. So, which animals were most often mummified in ancient Egypt? The right answer was A, cats. Numerous cats were mummified as offerings to the war goddess Bastet, who was depicted with the head of a cat. Animal mummification actually originated in ancient Egypt and aside from religious worship, it was done to provide people with food in the afterlife or so that beloved pets would follow their masters in death. If you haven't yet, make sure to check out our video on 10 ancient Egyptian facts you never knew. The link will be in the description below. Number 2. Soku Shinbutsu Mummification is usually a process that takes place post-mortem, but in Soku Shinbutsu, it begins while the person is still alive. The practice originated with monks in different Buddhist countries and required an outstanding amount of mental discipline. The entire process would take over 3,000 days to complete and involved a form of self-mummification through asceticism. The monk gradually reduced his intake of food, then of water, so that his body would become dehydrated and his organs would shrink. Meditation is a vital component of Soku Shinbutsu as the monk reached death in a trance, usually while chanting a Buddhist mantra. Through Soku Shinbutsu, his remains were naturally mummified with intact skin and teeth and without decay 
or the need for artificial preservatives. The mummies are revered in Buddhist tradition, but the process itself is beyond arduous. Research suggests that hundreds of monks have tried self-mummification, but only a few have been successful. In fact, only 24 such mummies have been discovered so far. Number 1. Stucky In the 1980s, while working on a grove of chestnut oaks in southern Georgia, a group of loggers made a fascinating discovery. Inside one of the tree trunks, they found the perfectly preserved remains of a dog. The dead animal stared back at them with bare teeth as if it was ready to fight. Experts examined the carcass and named it Stucky. They concluded that it was probably a hunting dog that had died in the 1960s. It had most likely chased an animal through a hole in the roots and then got stuck inside the hollow trunk. Stucky ultimately died due to starvation. How the carcass remained so well preserved isn't fully known, but it could have been a combination of factors. Tannins from chestnut oaks are actually used in taxidermy and they most likely kept it from rotting inside. The dry environment sheltered the remains from the elements and sucked out the moisture. Also, since Stucky's body was trapped inside the tree, other animals couldn't reach and perhaps even smell it. Thanks for watching. Would you rather your remains be mummified or encased in gold and turned into a statue? Let us know in the comments section below.